Good morning. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to do a, um, an exchange and build an exchange, and um, I'm, I'm not, no longer going to. I was planning on um, setting up a, a system where people could buy into um, to uh, mining bitcoins, where I, I would uh, sell them um, mega hashes for 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 dollars, and then use those dollars to pay for rent and all that kind of stuff, and uh, for my um, my business, right? For the building and stuff like that. Now, instead, I'm going to probably work on an exchange, unless uh, I could work something out with Ma Mount Gox. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, I prefer to mine coins than to to actually, um, um, you know, do anything else. Uh, I don't want to do an exchange, but. If I want liquidity in uh, bitcoins, I'm going to have to do that. Um, and so I'm going to be, be finishing off a product to help you build a, uh, a miner in on, the, what's it called, the Hyper-V and install it onto a, a USB drive. And so you could just stick the USB drive. The reason why, the method, the reason why you'd want to stick um, your, um, your Hyper-V onto a USB drive, probably not a 4 gig, but a, a 16 gig and a fast one. It's because of power. You want to you want to reduce your costs of the rig that you purchase and and the amount of bit, amount of mega hashes you get based on based on how many dollars you spend. So for example, um, I spend 1500 bucks on the system to give me one giga hash. You could spend a lot more because it's like eight hundred dollars for like uh, one of those high end cards that has a dual CPU so if you and but you could only put probably a maximum of three because I'm realizing they actually um have a, a, a wattage output of four hundred watts that the, the they run at. So that's the biggest power supply I know of that you could put into a, a computer is is um, 1600 watts. You can get bigger, but they're mostly for for servers, and then like rack mount. So um, and then then the costs are like just out of this world <laughs> for something bigger than 1600 watts. So um, obviously. Right, you want to reduce the amount of power and 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 reduce your costs of your power supply by sticking it into a USB, and uh, and then obviously your costs are reduced if you use Hyper V. And it's a Windows sort of like operating system, so it's a lot easier to use. Well, not a whole lot easier, but you know there's probably a lot more help out there to to with with support with Windows. So. Um, that software is going to be available um, uh, not this weekend, but the next weekend. I'll have it completed, and, and I'll be selling that for a few bitcoins, not much. And uh, and um, you'll be able to um, get a download uh, pass, username and password to download the file and uh, be able to start uh, run it, and um, it will install everything you need. It will just ask you for you know your username, what you, what your um, what 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 uh, what's it called? Your um, company mining company you're with, whether you're doing solo mining or uh, uh, mining with bitcoins, and then what your your username and password for the, the bitcoin miner that you'd uh, you wanted to create, and you type all that stuff in, and then it will create the um, the USB key with all, with each of the miners automatically running once you once you plug it in. We'll start it up and start mining. Of course, it's only going to work with um, uh, uh, ATI cards for now, and uh, but uh, it, you will you'll be able to get it going uh, once 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 you uh, once you try it out. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope uh, everything works out with the Bitcoin uh, exchange system.